Well, hi, YouTube. I'm Doug Jr. And I'm Doug the Third. And you're watching Doug, Doug and Doug, Doug Gaming. Hi, Barkeep. Another round for these chips. This is the Heroes Cove. Blasting these gentlemen need their ale. As I was saying, as I pulled my bloody dagger out of the beast, and he fell, and his eyes met mine. And he looked deep into my soul and struck a terror like I've never felt before. But that's when I knew I was victorious. <laughs> Come on, lad. Tell us your tale of woe and horror. You wouldn't understand. Oh, I, these men have been through much. It would do your soul good. Free yourself by sharing with us all today. You know, I thought it would be just like any other day. I go out into the forest. I maybe fight some orcs or goblins, and I come back. Bye. But it wasn't like that. No, I went out into the forest and discovered a cave. Little did I know it was the cave of the south. And I went in not knowing what fate lied before me. You entered the cave of the south? I did. I tell us more, boy. I went in, and then next thing I know, everything's dark, pure darkness. It was a cave-in. I, I was stuck. I was trapped there for a fortnight. I had nothing to eat but the rats in the cave. Oh. Had only a flint and steel and my sword. I son, but these things are bad. But we've been through worse. No, I haven't told you all. There's more. Tell us. Tell us, lad. As I looked... As I looked around, it hit me that... I did not know... Tell us, lad. Come on, spill it. I didn't know the Wi-Fi password. Welcome to the Heroes Cove. Yeah. Good to be back here with you on Doug and Doug Gaming. We have an exciting game to show you today that is brand new. In fact, this is currently on Kickstarter, uh, raising funding to produce the game. So I'm going to recommend that you go over there. There'll be a link in the description below. And back this game because we want to see this one uh, be published. And I think you're going to like it. This is an exciting game that was designed by Josh Wooten of Heroic Games, LLC. It's called Heroes Cove. And we just got it today. We played it a couple of times earlier, so we kind of know what we're doing. Yeah. But it's actually very, very simple. It, it's sort of a Dungeons & Dragons game. Yeah. But yeah. it has, uh, it's much quicker. Yeah. And so if you don't want to get together for several hours, like some people don't, then yeah. um, this is it's a great game to do it. Now, I'm going to explain it to you as best I can. Uh, there are some other rules that uh, you'll find in the rule book, but I'll give you the basics because it, basically it's, it's very simple. So to start with, I'd like to show you how to set this thing up. It's very, very simple. We have a little chart here that shows our victory points. The object of this game is to get the most victory points. And I should add, to be alive. Yes. And have the most victory points. I guess to really clear it up, first of all, it is a competitive game. It, it is. is not cooperative. We're yeah. so used to doing cooperative games, I guess that's noteworthy is to say it's competitive. Yes. It so. is competitive and your character may not survive the game, but should you survive the game and have the most victory points, that's how you win. So this is going to go in the middle. We each have a little marker. I'm the yellow. Doug uh, 30 Bye. is playing the blue. So we're going to put it on the start. And we have no victory points at this time. Next, we're going to set up several decks of cards. We've shuffled these already. And these cards, most of these little decks, represent stores. So we have the hidden stag, 
which is like a general store. They have all kinds of things there. We have the blacksmith shop, which as you can mm -hmm. imagine, would contain uh, weapons and tools and things made at a blacksmith shop. We also have Mato's Pub, yeah. and this is going to contain things like food and drink, things that will make us strong and healthy. And drunk. Possibly. But yes. also we have the armor shop, and the armor shop uh, contains, of course, armor. And then we have a couple of other decks. This is the loot deck, and the loot deck is kind of a bonus that you'll get sometimes after you finish the quest. And then we have the individual quest deck. Now, this is an opportunity for you to gain more victory points by going on individual quests. You don't have to do that. It's optional, but it can win you some more victory points. It can also set you back a little bit because it distracts you as well. So it's kind of a uh, give and take there. Uh, so we have that. And then we have the quests. Now, these come in three different levels. We have level one, level two, and level three. And of course, they get more difficult as they go on. So during this game, the quests here are kind of our timer for the game. So when we finish all the quests that have been laid before us, then the game's over and we total up the victory points. Now, the game rules suggest that you start with three level ones followed by two level twos and two level threes, but you can really do whatever you want. Um, I've set this up. Uh, as according to the rules. It's very, it's very customizable. Though. It is very customizable. And um, we probably won't play all these because we just want to give you a little demonstration of this. But uh, that's how the rules say set it up. So I'm going to start uh, with level one here and we'll see how far we get. Now, also you have to create your character. And this part's really cool because you get to create custom characters. We have two different decks that say Heroes Cove on the back. And the first deck is Race. So what we do is we have shuffled these up. Uh, Doug Three is going to get two cards. I'm going to take two cards. And we're going to choose from these two cards the race that we would like to be. Now I have the possibility of being a high elf or the, a dwarf of the Glacier Clan. And your different characters, of course, have different abilities and strengths and health and so on. So you can kind of... Uh, look at it and decide which one you want to be. I think I'll be the Dwarf of the Glacier Clan for my race. And my two options that I have is a human, very exciting, and uh, then a Half Moon Orc. Um, just based on my past knowledge of games in general, I want whoever has the most health, and right now that is the Orc. All right. So I will go with him. Goodbye. Now here's the awesome part. That was just our race. Now we get to pick our class. Mm -hmm. And these are different things. And we'll, again, we'll give two to Doug three. I'll take two. And we'll pick what we want from those two options. My options are a Berserker of the Glacier Clan or a Footpad Rogue. Mm -hmm. And you have to take into consideration um, their different uh, abilities. I think I'm going to go for the Footpad Rogue. Once per group quest, as a free action, you can take the top card of any shop. So, once per quest, I can get a free item from the shops. Mm -hmm. So, that will be my <clears throat> class. And the two I have is a Callous Warrior and a Princess Necromancer. And uh, right now, just to keep things simple and also because I just like what it is, I'm going to go with a Princess Necromancer. Um, the main thing is says, once per group... Bleh, once per group quest, as an action, you can take any one item from any shop's discard pile, which may come in handy. Cool. So, okay. Uh, yeah, so I'll just go with that. We can get rid of that. And we'll move this <clears> up <throat> to the side. We don't need these anymore. Our characters have been chosen. We will place the class card above the race card. And then we have these little tokens, which represent our health. And the rules say that this starts on the first heart. So we're going to place it on the first heart. And as we take damage, which will probably occur at some point, mm -hmm. health token moves down the uh, column of hearts. If it gets to the skull at the end, you know what happens. You're dead. Yep. Now, there are some characters that can actually resurrect dead characters. Mm -hmm. um, don't know if we'll see that in this game or not. Actually, I'm sure we won't because we didn't choose any of those. I will say, Apprentice ne Necromancer, the other power I have is, as an action, you can resurrect another player oh. for half their coin. Coin. Oh, okay. So, you know. Cool. I didn't. I didn't 
pay attention, I guess. So, yeah, uh, so yeah that could actually happen. Yes. Uh, speaking of coin, that is the currency in this game. Yes. And we have these different piles of coins. <laughs> these represent 25, this is 10s, 5s, and 1s. And we start out with 15. So why don't you give me 5 of the 1s and 2 of the 5s, and then take the same for yourself. There he uh, goes. One, two, three, four, five, two. All righty. All right. And Doug will be our banker over there. He's mm. usually trustworthy. And we also have, uh, well, I'll get to these. These are our, um, <clears throat> what are these called? These are called. They are called. The share, share markers. Had to think about it. This is a new game for me. Yeah. These are called share markers, and these are just little uh, plastic chips. But they will go on our quest, and I'll show you how here in just a moment. I'm going to start out by turning over our first quest. This is a level one quest, and you can see there are five different items across the uh, card here. And we're going to put share tokens above or on each one of these items. Mm -hmm. So to complete this quest, we're going to have to provide five of these items. This one has ale, this one has rations, hammer, rope, and torch. And there's some other information down here which will become relevant later on. Uh, this says clear some farmland. So our goal is to clear some farmland. Thurman says we could use some help clearing trees. Good old Thurman. Good old Thurman and his tree clearing. Went, went to middle days. school with him. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. He's a cool guy. He doing good? Um, yeah, he was rich. He had columns in front of his house and everything. So. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, to start out with, we each get to choose two items from the stores, <clears throat> from three of the stores. We can choose two items from one store or one item from the three different stores. The Hidden Stag, the Blacksmith, or Motto's Pub. Can't choose one from the armor shop yet. We have to buy that later on. Uh, so, and this is random, so we don't know what we're getting at this yeah. point. So I'm going to kind of go to the general store. I'll take um, the hidden, one from the Hidden Stag, and I think I'll take one from the Blacksmith. And I have a lock pick, which is actually a very expensive item, 15 coins. Wow. And I got a hammer. And a hammer is one of the items we need in this quest, mm -hmm. so that's good. Yeah, all uh, right. Doug may take two. All right. So frame here, okay. I will take one from the pub, and I will take one from the um, general store. All right. All right. And I got Dwarven Rotgut and Powder Keg. 30 mm. coin. 30 coin. Good gracious. Wow. This makes wow. a big boom. Uh, apparently. I bet it does. By the way, the artwork in this is fantastic. I do like it a lot. And I've noticed on each of the cards, uh, it gives the name of the artist, and there are, uh, I don't know how many, but a lot of different uh, contributors yeah. to doing the artwork. Which I like so, that. Uh, I didn't even know. So yeah. That was cool. Yeah, I like is, that. Uh, this is awesome. And, and, it, and it's just great how it all comes together, because they're different people, but they've kept the same mm -hmm. uh, style uh, among them. So this is really good. The cards are good quality. So uh, everything's looking great. Yeah. Uh, I believe the rules say that the player with the least amount of health starts, I think is what it says. So I have six, seven, I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are we counting the skull as one? No. Oh, no. All right, then I have seven. This is a, uh, just to remind you, this is a prototype game, so I don't know what the final product's going to look like. Uh, this is a nice little uh, instruction booklet that they sent along with it that Josh sent. Uh, and in the front of it, there's a quick start guide, which is really helpful. Um, but it has on here also the actions that you may take. One of the actions is to take one of these share tokens by discarding one of the items that it needs. Uh, another action is shopping. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take from any of these stores three of the cards, and then you can look at them, and you can buy any or all or none of those items, and then discard any that you didn't purchase. And as a free action, when you do that, you can also play it and take a share token. Uh, another one of the actions is, and I want to look to make sure I get it right, uh, one of the actions is drawing an individual quest. Remember, the individual quest can be drawn as an action, and then there's something on there you have to complete, which will get you some coin, uh, possibly some victory points, but it can also uh, 
take resources away from the main quest. But you don't have to finish it during that particular quest, so yeah. it, it doesn't have to be done right away. Uh, so those are some of the actions that you can do. Uh, I believe that the... Uh, oh, also you can barter and trade with... Uh, different players fellow, fellow players so uh, a lot of different actions you can do so <coughs> anyway so yeah. that's got your, your you've got two actions all right so i'm gonna go shopping i'm gonna go shopping first because yep. you don't have anything no, I don't. right now that's required so i draw what three cards three cards three all and right. it has to come from one store so unlike uh, when we got our first two items you have to you can only shop at one store uh, at a time so i have to draw three from one specific store yes all right hmm well i'm just gonna look at the little symbols here we have Two things we need from a pub, two things we need from a general store. One thing we need from the uh, blacksmith. Dad already has that. Um, so right now I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to worry about, you know, one of these two. Um, I think a general store. So I'll draw one, a two, a three. And let's see what we got. I got a lock pick. I got a water skin and I got a map. None of those are the things that we need, though. But they might be in a future quest. That's so true. remember, yes. to complete the entire game, mm -hmm. uh, we would have to go through our entire stack of yes. quests that we set aside for this So game. it's good to hold on to them, and then maybe we'll need them later. Right. Now, if I am not mistaken, there is a max to how many cards you can have in your deck. Yes, right? there's, a, there's a hand limit of seven. All right. All right. So right now I have uh, five. Right. So okay. Are you going to buy those? Uh, that's because they cost money. Probably, that is true. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Um, I will not buy the lockpick because that expensive. All right. So what we're going to do, since he's not buying that, we're just going to start a discard pile over here by the general store, the hidden stag. And I am not going to buy the Vater skin. Just okay. because I'm an orc and I like being de dehydrated. Again, that was from the hidden stag. <clears throat> so... Yes. The map cost... Map cost three. Three. So right. I'll so go ahead. Three goes in the bank. Kerplunk. You have yourself a map, and now you have a second action that you can I do. play. I do. Okay, so for my second action, uh, yeah, I'll just go shopping again. Um, I didn't get any luck out of the general store, so I'll try Z-Pub again. And I got... Dragon's Mead, Full Meal, and a Feast. Now, a Full Meal can be played, yeah, it counts as two food, mm -hmm. so you could use that uh, for rations. Oh, is that what that is? Uh, it, it could actually go for two rations, but we only need one, so you could play it for that. Okay, yeah. And the Feast uh, counts as three food, so, wow. you know. Yeah. Got a lot um, more than you need, however. Hmm. I will. I'll discard these. Okay. And I will buy the full meal. And. Okay. Yeah. And then you can discard that. Yes. And then contribute to that. It will go here. Okay. And you'll be contributing to the quest. Now you're going to take the share quest share from there okay and that will benefit you when this quest is done uh, you want to have as many of these shares as possible uh, by contributing to the quest and that's going to benefit that person greatly greatly yes. so that's why we're kind of competing for this mm -hmm. and that did not cost him an action however that was your second action the okay. second time you shop so yep. you, you're so done that's me all right so i have a hammer and that is needed in, in this quest. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to discard the hammer. And I'm going to take this uh, quest share token. And then I have to shop because I don't have anything else needed. I think I'm going to go to the general store here. There's a torch. There's a torch. And there's a map. I do need a torch. So I uh, don't guess I'm really planning for the future too much. But I'm going to buy... Are you okay? I just, my mic flipped inside my shirt, so no telling how long it was in there. But now it's good as new, probably. Okay. Okay. Technology. So, uh, so anyway, I'm going to buy this torch. It cost me two coins, so I'm going to have you put that in the bank for me. Okay, okay. And also, I'm going to contribute this to the quest by discarding it, taking the torch uh, share token there. 
And that was my second turn. So I guess I'm finished. All right. So it's back to you. So right now, it's just kind of a uh, preparing for this job by shopping Trying and get getting, getting our stuff together. And then once we get this done, you'll see uh, when we're finished with this how these uh, quest uh, shares benefit us. Yeah. So it's your turn. Go ahead and take your two actions. All right. So I am going to go to... Let's see. So we've done that. We've done that. So right now we still need the ale and the rope. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go pub again. And I got the ale. And that is all I care about right now. Okay. So I'll go ahead, I'll get rid of these. Um, that costs one coin, so let's do that, do some math, bring back four of these. All right. And so that's going to go towards uh, that. Okay, so we'll discard that. All right. And we have one. And then I have, some, oh. and I have one more action, correct? Yes. All right. And then with my second action, I will shop in the general store and hopefully, possibly get some rope. Get some rope. And I got a rope, and that right. costs three coins, no problem. I got it. Let's do that, organize a little bit. <clears throat> All right, so three coins there. Rope goes here. Boop. And that is mine. All right. There we go. Now, here's where it gets kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, this particular quest is, when we finish this up, it tells us here, because there's a little... Uh, icon of a, a die mm -hmm. that we have to roll to see what happens. There are six different options and uh, depending on what we roll with this die, and by the way, was that your, was that your, did you just use one action or did you use them both? I used both my actions. All right. So uh, you were the last active player. Mm -hmm. So you will roll the die. Woo! Go ahead and do that. That's a, that's a D6. And we've got two. two. Lower numbers are better. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to look on here and see, since you rolled the two, what happens. First thing is, it tells us here that we each get one uh, victory point. So, okay. we're still together there. We'll move up to one. Yay. All right. So, we have one victory point. Then, uh, it's number two. This is good. We each get 15 coins. Now, here's the thing. I have two shares. How many do you have? Three. I have three. We multiply this number of coins by the number of shares we have. So 15 coins awarded because of the quest times my two shares is going to give me 30 coins. So, so I'll get 45. Yes. Wow. So okay. give me 30. Give me right. however you want to do it. It's fine. Let's do a 10 and a 20 and a just because I can. That's to make it complicated. There yeah, you go. That's all right. All right, so I get 30 <clears throat> coins. Wow. And so you see how we're building now and can build for the future and such. Uh, Douglas is getting 45 because he had three. I'm going to go ahead and take these share tokens yeah, off if you don't mind. He had three share tokens, so three times 15 is 45. Mm -hmm. And the coins are the only thing that get multiplied. You yes. don't multiply the victory points or anything else. Now, if we're going down here, because again, he rolled a two, mm -hmm. uh, we got our one victory point, we got our coins, uh, it tells us from the loot deck that we get nothing. Okay. If you had rolled a one, we would have got one thing from the loot deck, which are all good things. Yeah. I believe they're all good things. Probably. And then damage. Uh, it tells us here that we get zero damage. That's good with If me. you had rolled a f three, four, five, or six, we would have taken damage. Wow. Now, the armor could have helped uh, in that case, could help us defend from damage, so... Mm -hmm. Might be something we want to invest in. Yeah. Maybe not yet. Could but be, but now, now we know that. But that's what that's for. So, okay. first quest is finished. Uh, again, the instructions suggest starting out with three level one quests. So I'm going to discard this one. And we're going to take a second level one quest. So part one is done. And Success. Five items here. We have ale, an axe, a map, a hammer, and rope. And by the way, this one says, no questions asked. Thurman, I need some items and would rather not explain why. Can you hurry? Well, he's got his land cleared. Thur Thurman is just... We helped him clear this land, and now he's, uh, he needs some more items, and he doesn't really want to tell us what he's up to. Man. I don't know if we can trust Thurman or not. But I, anyway. I don't. I don't. He took my pencil sharpener. All right. 
Now, this is this is interesting as well. And this is one of those cool little twists that this game has that gives us some variety. Uh, instead of having the die icon that we had on the last one, yes, caused us to roll. Yes, uh, this one has an hourglass. That means this is a timed uh, quest, which simply means that uh, the number is going instead of being chosen by a die is going to be chosen by the number of rounds it takes us to complete it. Wow! So yeah, the quicker the better. We finish this quest, we'll get more uh, things. In fact, we could. We could get, well, we won't go into it, but we could get some really cool stuff on this one. So, uh, at this point, we really don't care what Thurman's up to. We just want to get the stuff, get some dough, get some victory points. And you just finished your last one, so now it's my turn. Yep. Uh, if you had had an action left, you would have actually continued uh, with your second action. Mm -hmm. But you didn't have an action left. So, I... I really like the die, sorry. Okay, thanks. All right, so I am going to do some shopping, of course. Uh, don't think we need a lock pick. Nope, that's all I have. Uh, map hammers. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go to the blacksmith here. I've got a little dough right now, so let's see what we can do. Hammer, which is needed. Okay, there you go. Axe, which is needed. Pick, which is ne uh, not, not needed. needed. So the hammer and the axe. So... I guess I'm being a little short-sighted, but uh, I don't want to spend all my money, but yeah. I do want the hammer and the axe, which is going to cost me nine. I'm a little uh, loaded right now, so I'll... Just got paid. Seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine coins go to the bank. I bought myself a hammer and an axe. I am going to play the hammer and the axe, which will be discarded here. Got myself two quest shares. Hmm. And then for my next action, I am going to... You know what I'm going to do for my next action? What? I'm going to take an individual quest. What? Yep. And see if I can earn myself some extra dough or something. So, this quest card doesn't have to be completed during this quest. It's, it's, it's just for me. But it's called Map Maker. Uh, I can play this as an action. And to do this, I have to discard three food. Now, if I can get three food to dedicate to this, I can get a victory point and ten coins. So. So, I'm going to note, I have a map already. Hmm. So, potentially, I could get the same kind of thing as you do if I can get the ale. So, right now, I'm going to go to the pub. Let's see if I can't find that. Mm-hmm. 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 No. Okay, so that did not succeed. Um, when you pick them, why don't you lay them down so we can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got that. two full meals and one ration. Um, I will get a full meal and just save that because it just it's a good thing to have. <clears throat> um, for the other two, I will discard those. And that is a pick in the pub. There you go. That part. Okay. Okay, so now that I'm looking at it, it says my Dwarven Rot Gut can be used as an ale. So I'm going to go ahead, because I don't really need this, so I'm going to go ahead, um, trade this in to the pub. Bloop. Okay. And take that. And that is my turn, because I've already, um, I shopped once, and then I did that. Shopped, second did that, and yes. And we're just learning the game, so yeah. we're not necessarily using the best strategies, but... We're having fun, though. That's we're having happens. fun. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're adventurers in a pub. All right. So, um, which would possibly give me a chance to jump in ahead of you and get that map. Um, but I don't have a map. And I believe that, well, the rope and the map could both be found in the hidden stag. Water skin. Flint and steel. Water skin. Water None skin. of these. However, I'm not going to buy any of these. Mm. I'm going to buy the water skin. Okay. And that's because I've seen that come up uh, in, in our early, earlier run throughs. Yeah. So I'm just thinking that's going to come in the future. I'm not going to buy either one of these. Mm -hmm. But something else I've kind of neglected, and I guess you have to be careful about this, is uh, on my class card it says that once per group quest, as a free action, I can take the top card 
of any shop. Hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I think I'm going to take it from the pub in okay. hopes that I'll get some ale or some food. And I did. Here this counts can. as two foods, so I'm going to use that toward my um, map maker, my personal quest. individual quest. That was a free action. So I will now shop again. Shopping. And I guess I'm still to the hidden stag here because, boy, I just need some rope. <laughs> There's some rope. Now if I could just draw a map. Oh, no map. But I will definitely buy the rope. And mm -hmm. you'll give me two coppers for change. I will put these away. Take my change. And then I will play the rope. Take the token. Share. Okay. And my turn is now over. All right, so um, first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and I'm going to, uh, blah, blah, blah. yeah, I'm going to send in my map here, take the map token, the share token from the map category. Okay. So, so, so now, yes, we're done with this quest. Mm -hmm. So that was one action. You have an action left. Yes. Now here's the thing. How many rounds did <clears> it take us? Because I started out. Mm -hmm. And he came back around to me, so that was the first round. So we're like in the second round right now. Yeah. So I guess we're going to say we're in the second. It took us two rounds. So we're going to take one victory point each. So mm -hmm. let's move up. By the way, if you don't have a share token, you don't get a victory point. But since we yeah. don't have them, we do. And then also we're going to get 15 coins, but I get times three. So I get 45 coins. All so right. let's go ahead and do that. Forty-five coins. Mm. I am loaded. Four, I'm popular at the Boop. pub tonight. <laughs> All right, and then and you then are I going get to get thirty. Yeah. Okay. Twenty. A little deja vu. I think it was switched around the other way last last quest. Yep. All right, and then we'll take your quest tokens. Get ready for the next one. Yep. And then for loot, we each get one loot card. Mm. So I will take that. And I have received a medium treasure chest, Ooh. which gives me plus 20 coins. Wow. So my medium treasure chest is worth 20 coins. I will immediately discard that, according to the rules, and I will take 20 coins. All righty. There awesome. you go. All right, and then my loot. Large treasure chest, <laughs> plus 30 coins. Really? Yeah. Wow. That works. Okay. I'm okay with that. So basically what we're learning here is loot is good. I like loot. Nah. So we got loot. Nah. And just to continue on while you're finishing up that, the damage here is zero. Mm -hmm. That's good. It says here is your portion as promised. So, so we're going to stop short here finishing the game. The level two and the level three, uh, things get a little more interesting. This one's called an old hag. Uh, there's only four items that you need, but... Uh, there are some different, uh, the, the stakes are higher in this yeah. one, I see. And some uh, bad things can happen to you. Um, but some good things can too. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, the level three, again, these are going to get uh, more and more difficult. Uh, I know the items like the grappling hook, the lock pick are much more expensive. Yeah. So things change a lot. So there's a lot of variety in this. So uh, just to leave you with this thoughts, our final thoughts here. Uh, I think that you should consider going to Kickstarter and backing this game. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to see this published. This is a prototype, and yet the quality is very high. Mm -hmm. And the parts that I have, the cards are the main thing, and they are uh, extremely nice. The artwork's great, uh, but the gameplay is good. Yeah. And it's a, it's a quick, easy game. It's not like playing. It's, li it's lighthearted. Yeah, it's very yeah. lighthearted. Um, it's not uh, hard to teach. It's easy to teach. Mm -hmm. doesn't take long. Uh, we took a little longer because we're still kind of getting used to it and learning our strategies and such. But mm -hmm. uh, this is, we, we got this, I got this in the mail today and opened it up, read through the rules, and we kind of played through a couple of times and, you know, we're there. So um, very easy to learn. And I think this is what we need more of are games like this mm -hmm. where we can go to the, not everybody wants to sit down for two hours to yeah. play a, a, you know, dungeon crawler game. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to do that sometimes, yeah. but not everybody does. So. This is a very lighthearted, good components. I, I look forward to seeing what the full-blown version looks like mm -hmm. when they get the, the final thing finished up and packaged up. 
Uh, that's always exciting. Yeah. But everything's looking great so far, and it just comes together really well. The, a couple of things I personally really like about it, first of all, is the character customization. Yeah. That's, you know, that's the thing that, um, even in video games, is something you get so excited about. It's like, fun. You get to make them, uh, you know, you, you get to see, you know, just different combinations you can get out of it. So, theoretically, um, you can get so many different characters um, just from this one set. You know, right. you, you can get so many different combinations and uh, go on different adventures and just have a really good time. The, uh, the other thing I like is just the way it plays out... Um, there's no one specific thing you have to do. Like, I mean, obviously there's one uh, main goal, but there's so many things you can do. There's so many diff different possibilities. Right. Um, and it just it keeps things really interesting. And uh, um, I just, I really like it. I like the artwork of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, like the dye. The dye is a cool color. <laughs> um, if I were to pick one thing to add to it, I would just like a little uh, reference card. Just as just a you yeah. know, order of reference. Yeah, and there is, there is a nice reference uh, yeah. page in the rule yeah. book, but yeah, a little card would but, be nice. Yeah. Um, I will say, too, that the uh, I think that the quest uh, system here is, is really, really quite clever. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, the rules suggest starting with three level ones, two level twos, two level threes, but you know what? You can do it any way you, you want. Do any way you really. want. If you just want to play, um, well, shoot, you could play one quest if you wanted to. If you just mm -hmm. wanted to go to the table for ten minutes yeah. and play one quest, you could do that. Or if you want to do, like, we, we ran through, like, three level ones here. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, you can yeah. customize this in so many ways. And I you, think that's and, what people like. And I was going to say, and even if you uh, really wanted to get uh, really detailed about it and you want to have some friends over and you want to, like, have a specific adventure kind of storyline, you could even write your own storyline, grab the missions you want out of here, if you really wanted yeah. to get eccentric about it. Um, uh, there's just a endless, lot of possibilities. endless possibilities. Yeah. And, again, this is a demo version that I got, so there are more cards uh, than what I have here on the table in front of me. There are more quests, all this stuff. It's just more, so many choices. So yeah. uh, seriously, if you want to see this kind of thing uh, come to fruition, uh, go to Kickstarter. Again, this is called Heroes Cove. It's by Josh Wooten of uh, Hero, Heroic Games, LLC. And uh, they need your support. So go mm -hmm. to Kickstarter. Um, reserve your copy today. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We had a blast. We always enjoy this. Give us any comments, suggestions, thoughts you have, playthroughs you'd like to see in the future. And uh, by the way, we got some more uh, Kickstarter games coming that we're going to be reviewing and getting some prototypes in and giving you first looks at. So stick with us. Keep watching. And for now, I'm Doug Jr. And I'm Doug the Third. And you've been watching Doug and Doug Gaming. <laughs>